the starting point, the jumping off point, when you revisit material, when you reboot, remake, uh, is uh, for me, and what I had done certainly with, with Iron Man and to, and to some extent with Elf even, as I drew back on the stop motion Christmas specials of my youth, is what are the images that I remember? What are the things that jump out? And in many ways that's more important than watching the film again because it's the things that stick with you that are, are hitting something a little bit more significant and those are the things that I want to make sure that I, I, don't, I don't overlook. I'm a huge fan of the original book, the original book, much more than the original movie. I read that book and thought that was just such an extraordinary piece. I, I read it uh, maybe when I was 22 or something like that. And I thought, golly, how come I don't know this? This is, it's really extraordinary writing. I mean, he was, he was quite a guy, Kipling. He wrote a lot of different stuff, a lot of amazing stuff, and he was his own bizarre cat. But that Jungle Book, I thought, was a real piece of art. I think what what John Favreau has done is he's pulled it back more to um, to possibly Kipling's perspective and his sort of moral compass, uh, because in in a, in a way it's a moral tale, and, and it, again it's a tale about an orphan, um, and there are many wonderful stories that we that we thrill to, that are based on the struggle of an orphan to find a family, to create an orphan creating a family around him. I relate to him because I kind of, I think I'm brave and I'm funny and stuff, but he he's very, um, I don't know, he's very different than most kids, and I think I am too. <laughs> I've worked with kids before, I was pretty confident, but I knew that I needed a good supporting cast around him. And I would bring Neil with me, uh, to record with these actors. John comes from an acting background. Um, he's a genius. He's like one of my idols. He directs and he acts, and he's really good at both. And, you know, he definitely has a, a, a sensibility that works for actors, especially when you're sort of imagining this thing that's in his head. He can really describe that to you and make you feel like this is where you are. I think for voice performance, the trick is to have them really act it like they're in the film. And uh, in, the, in the early stages when they're just reading out of a script, it's difficult. You're using that as a bit of a scratch track. But as they start to see the animation and the performances or they work with each other, it starts to get uh, more of the naturalism that I like. The way that she moves informs my vocal performance. And then also I think my vocal performance affects the finished ka that you see. Um, and that marriage is a really... It's a it's a exciting one. It means that there's kind of a creative team behind these characters. It's going to be an educational yet very very entertaining story. It's about it's about value and about morals and about how we teach our young and it's about how we accept those who are different than we are. You're going to get the classic Jungle Book. So people who have never seen Jungle Book, well, this bit might be the first time they're introduced to it, they won't be disappointed.